Hello and welcome to my tech fan. My name is Igor and in this video I'm testing the Triangle Lab double-sided texture PEI flexible sheet and this box is sent to me by Banggood in exchange for a review. Now exactly uh, this uh, has the dimensions of 310 by 310 millimeters and according to the website it is compatible with CR10, Artillery X1 and X2 but I will test it with uh, two trees uh, Zephyr Plus CD printer which arrived with this carbon random glass but it has also the same dimensions. Now another information from the website, it has the compatibility with PLA, ABS, PET, GTPU. so this means we don't have to use adhesives with these uh, materials and that's something what I will test too. You printing that uh, standard test objects and then I will pull it with this hanging scale to check the bed adhesion. Not too comparable uh, because uh, here with, I don't have the auto bed leveling sensor so the adhesion depends a lot from the distance between nozzle and print surface but I will do my best to be uh, precise to set the dimensions according that, uh, to that paper friction and I hope then at least uh, these results will be a little bit comparable with each other. Now why do I like these uh, PI flexible sheets more than the glass surfaces? Well first of all the PI is less sensitive to human errors I noticed that with glass I have to correct really precise distance between the nozzle and the print surface. If it is a little bit too far I will have very weak uh, adhesion. If it is too close, uh, well, uh, in some cases I can have so big adhesion that it's very hard to remove the objects. And actually uh, the biggest, uh, most common injuries on CD printing uh, world is using the spatula when you try to remove the objects and, and suddenly it uh, runs and cuts your finger or something like that. So uh, first uh, for from safety reasons uh, I really like the flexible uh, materials because uh, with PEI uh, which is actually less sensitive to this distance so I can still have good adhesion even if it is a little bit far or even too close because uh, when I start uh, with the flexing when the ob uh, printing is finished I can very easily pop off the objects uh, from the print surface. Uh, for artillery users there's another uh, advantage using this kind of uh, flexible sheets uh, because I noticed that uh, all, all printers artillery Genius Pro have huge cold spots and uh, the difference may be at even 15 degrees between the set temperature and those uh, temperature on those spots and uh, I tested with the Bam uh, when I installed it on Genius Pro uh, I added another layer that's steel plate, flexible steel plate and uh, notice that the heating uh, takes a little bit more time, maybe 20 seconds but uh, heat is spread more equally so uh, because earlier I had some problems when the corner of some objects is exactly on the cold spot I noticed it doesn't stick too good and I always had the warping on those places. Okay, uh, now let's see what's in the box. So this is the magnetic base, it has a 3M sticker on the other side, uh, this goes to the aluminium plate on the 3D printer. And then we have this layer, as you can see it is double sided uh, textured PEI sheet, this means we can use both sides, that's also an advantage because I noticed that uh, sometimes this arrives only on one side, and this is on steel plate, and we will stick to this magnetic base. So let's start with the installation of this magnetic base. Okay, so first I have to remove the glass, which has quite unique uh, clips, so I have to use the screwdriver from the bottom to remove them. And now I have this uh, heated aluminium plate, and here I will uh, glue that uh, magnetic base. First I'm cleaning the surface with isopropyl alcohol. So this is very delicate part uh, because uh, I have to glue this uh, without any bubbles below the sticker and I saw several times my YouTube colleagues uh, ruin this because they tried to get good shot and uh, then at the end they uh, ended with the bubbles below the sticker. So uh, I will just uh, start the time lapse and forget about camera and I will just narrow this part. So first I started with peeling the sticker approximately a little bit more than an inch and it is very important to start parallelly with the edge. And then I will use something that is not so sharp, or maybe you can use the credit card or something like that, to press all the air below the sticker. This is a time lapse of approximately 2 minutes. 
Okay, I think it was successful because it is exactly on the center and size it has the same dimensions. Uh, it's uh, exactly on the edge of this aluminum plate. And now let's place this flexible sheet. For the filling it has a good adhesion, actually it is a little bit better for example that uh, soft magnetic sheet on my Ender 5 Pro. But I think it's a little bit weaker compared to the Van Bam system. Uh, which usually uh, shouldn't be the problem. Uh, the only problem I can see we need some ABS printing. So when it warps and it sticks good to the sheet it, will, it may lift the corners. Actually it is something I can measure and actually I measure it several times so I place this hanging scale on uh, this corner and let's see how much force I need to lift the corner. Now actually 0 0.44 kilograms that's not bad value. Uh, here you can see the value which I measured on the Ender 5 Pro with the soft magnetic sheet and this is which I measured with the Van Bam systems. Now if I would have here something like BL Touch uh, auto bed leveling sensor, in that case I am done and I could start with the printing because it measured the distance of the nozzle uh, from the top of the surface. So it's, if it is replaced uh, it will be a new zero point. Now uh, science here I don't have that, I have to level the bed manually and then I will start with the printing with those uh, test objects and then I will measure the adhesion with this hanging scale. So the bed is leveled now, but don't forget the PI is very sensitive to dirt, so uh, clean with isopropyl alcohol the print surface before every print. And actually uh, I will now slice that uh, test objects uh, for the testing and uh, I will start with the PLA. Printing is almost finished, so I have to prepare for the measuring. Printing is finished, so I will keep the temperature on 60 degrees Celsius. Hmm, 0 0.8 kilograms. I think it's good, exactly not too strong, not too weak, this will be good for PLA. It's very interesting to see the textured bottom surface. The next material will be Polymax PETG. Printing is finished, so I will keep the bed temperature on 85 degrees Celsius. <laughs> it was stronger than the bed adhesion of the PETG, which is promising, almost one kilogram. Hmm. I think it's a little bit stronger than it should be. No, it's okay. Let's try to remove the skirt. Well, it's it's okay. Okay, now let's try to remove this with the flexing method. I heard a crack. Of course, for PETG this is not the method how you should remove the printed object. Uh, first I have to wait until the print surface cools down and only then uh, I should remove it, but uh, I want to measure the adhesion during the printing. Next printing will be ABS, uh, but I'm not sure if I will print it successfully because in this room the temperature is approximately 15 degrees Celsius, but I don't use the enclosure here.
Now with ABS I will use a brim and the bed temperature will be 100 degrees Celsius. I have to raise the baby steps, it was too close and uh, actually it takes forever until it heats up to 100 degrees Celsius this big uh, surface. It starts ok, it's printing the brim now. So far so good, I cannot see any warping but it's uh, far from the ending. It's almost finished so let's prepare the measuring. So I'm keeping the bed temperature to 100 degrees Celsius. More than one kilogram, I think it was 1.2. But of course, in case of ABS, similar like PETG, uh, you always have to wait until the surface cools down, and then it will be very easy to remove the object. And my last printing in this video will be printing the flexible TPU filament. But uh, I will not print uh, these test objects because uh, I know the TPU sticks good to the PEI. Instead I will just print something which I really need and there's a timing belt for one of my next videos. And I will just tell you my feeling for the um, adhesion. Now this is the Bowden style printer and it has a very long Teflon tube. So not really good for printing the TPU. So I completely disabled the retraction and I will print uh, very slowly. Printing is finished, the bed temperature was only 50 degrees Celsius, but that's enough for TPU. And let's check the bed adhesion, it is great, exactly as it should be. The skirt, and I have another timing belt. And now the conclusions. Well, uh, it really do the job. So the PLA, PETG, ABS, TPU, I tested, so it sticks good to the surface. Uh, only pay attention not to squeeze too much the material into these uh, holes on this uh, texture surface. And it can be really life-saving when you print something big. On glass it will be very hard to remove the object. Here uh, you start with the peeling and the objects will actually pop uh, from the surface. Uh, don't forget, uh, you have to clean with isopropyl alcohol before every print. And um, I don't know, if you have any additional experience with exactly this type of the PEI sheet, uh, please write me down a line in a comment. Anyway, thank you for watching and happy printing!